Hey guys, today I'm filming the finale for my 2023 rolling non-makeup project pan. This is where I worked on hair, skin, and body products. I have been doing this on my channel for years. In the past, I was really focusing on a lot of sample products because I was getting the Sephora Play subscription box, rest in peace, and I was getting a lot of free gifts from Ulta, and that is still happening, and I am trying to get through my samples, but I'm actually at the point where a lot of them I need to make myself save them for traveling, and then you know, I'll check back on them every six months or so to see if I want to keep them in my travel bag or go ahead and knock them out. So I have been able to use up and focus on a lot of full size products, which has been amazing. So for today's finale, I am going to show you the things that I finished within the last month. And it's actually only been like two, two and a half weeks. And I also have a pretty big bag of declutters. I'd like to go through my collection once more before I do my inventory to get out a few extra things. And then also in these finales, I like to go through and give you guys my numbers for foil, deluxe, and full-size products for hair, skin, and body. And then I'm going to tell you out of all of these non-makeup beauty products that I used up this year, which ones would I actually repurchase? So a lot of different things here. I'm not gonna be showing you progress on the things that I'm still working on. You guys will see my starting point. You'll see my month update when I do my intro for 2024. So let's just start with the things that I was able to finish up in the last couple weeks. I actually have seven products and then one little foil sample. So I finished four different hair products. I was working on this Monday smooth shampoo and I just don't really love this. It makes my hair a little bit too greasy, but if you have more dry hair, this might be really fantastic and it's super cute packaging. I still have the conditioner. I am about to move on to that to go ahead and knock it out and then I'll put another little duo in my travel bag. And the conditioner that I just used up last night is the Derma E Thickening Conditioner. I was approximately here last month. So finally finished it up. I've been working on this for quite a while. And this is not something that I would repurchase. I told you guys that I was getting like dry skin patches on my scalp from using this line. And I really do feel like it was from this, which is very odd. I guess it's some sort of ingredient in here because I love the scalp relief collection from them, but the thickening just does not work for me, unfortunately. So I would not repurchase it, but I'm not sure if other people have had that experience. Definitely check reviews on the Ulta site. Then I think I should actually be able to get like one more use out of this. It's not pumping out. I have to, you know, slam it on my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it an empty because I'm gonna use this tomorrow, but I will save it to get that one final use. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil Primer, one of my all time favorite leave-ins. I love this scent. I hope that this will go on sale half off sometime at Ulta or Sephora in 2024 so I can get one of these. I love the It's a 10, but I like this one more because of the scent, but It's a 10 goes on sale more often. So we'll see what happens, but I was about halfway done. And again, it has only been like two, two and a half weeks since I filmed my last update. If that, I'll have to put it on the screen. So that's why I did not 100% get through this yet, but again, one more use and it will be done. I promise you guys, I will use it up. You know me. And then I've had this little baby going for a while. This is the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protectant Mist. And I have been straightening my hair a little bit more often because when I just let it air dry, it looks like this, which is like, okay, but it looks a little bit better straightened. And this is a product that I'm using because I don't want to use other type of mist make my hair feel wet. This one doesn't. And this was included in Ulta's most recent hair event. So I was able to get this half off in a full size, which is amazing. So already repurchased. Then for my skincare products, I did decide to go ahead and finish up the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I only had a little bit left and I still have been able to test out that Shop Miss A1 to be able to get enough thoughts to review it. I left a little spatula in here. This is amazing. I will definitely buy this again. No scent and this totally removed my makeup without leaving a film. It didn't burn my eyes and this is $15 flat, which is great because you can use the $350 off $15 coupon on this. So I would say do that at Ulta and then also just like pay attention to whenever they have point multipliers. Sometimes it's just certain days or it'll be three, four, five times the points depending on your tier or sometimes if you do a pickup order. So definitely 
stock up whenever you can use a coupon which is almost all the time and when they have bonus points because this isn't going to go bad for a while so i will definitely buy this again i think it's really great then i did use up this little baby good molecules nice cinnamide brightening toner i've used up other minis and a full size i really do love this i definitely would repurchase it i really feel like it does the job i really do like a toner for my oily skin and then I finally finished my CeraVe Salicylic Acid Lotion for Rough and Bumpy Skin. You can see I've been working on this for ages. I was mostly using this on the KP on my arms. And I will have the total notes on the screen because I have not calculated it, but I used it three times in December for it to be all gone. And I had started using this October of 2022. So that's insane. So happy to have used this up. What a big accomplishment. I didn't really notice it doing that much for my KP so not something that I would repurchase and then lastly I used up this beauty blender liquid charcoal cleanser and I basically just put this into a bowl and use it to clean my brushes and it was scary at first because I felt like my brushes felt too squeaky clean and I was like is this drying them out is this leaving a residue but then once they dried they were very soft and clean so I thought that this was fine, but I think I'll probably stick with the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. I feel like that works really well for me, but definitely let me know your thoughts. But those were all the things that I finished in the past month. So now let me show you this bag of uh, declutters. There are 15 products that will be leaving my collection. First from Verst, which kindly has sent me PR a couple of times, and I was doing a brand review, which has not been filmed or posted yet i will film it and then pass these on so this is the verse guards up daily mineral sunscreen i do not like the texture of this on my skin the verse purest antioxidant cleanser is just too simple i don't notice it at all and i know philosophy purity is very simple but i like that one more than this so i'm gonna pass it on and then the verse sweet relief overnight barrier balm is supposed to help with repairing your skin barrier. It's a weird thick texture that I just did not enjoy. So it might be amazing. I can't get over the texture. So those will be leaving my life. I'm just gonna sort of grab and go here. I had another pack of this Monday Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner, little travel sizes. I had gotten this in a subscription box. So I'm going to pass these on to a friend with more dry hair. Then a couple products from Murad. They've sent me the same collection of acne products a few times and I just don't need all of them. So I'm gonna pass these on and I actually think since they're brand new, I'm gonna put these in a giveaway with a few other repeat products they just sent me. So this would be the Clarifying Cleanser, which I have used before and I do think is nice, and the Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment, which I've also used before and I do think is nice. They have a newer spot treatment in a glass package i like that one a little bit better and i have one of those and luckily for me i don't need spot treatment a ton and i also have something from keels that i had gotten for spot so those will be going in the giveaway also a line that was sent to me from i do care and that would be more of like oily skin acne products which sound great but again i just have too much right now and i have other things i'd rather use so i'm going to give this to my friend's husband I do care clean zip away acne foaming cleanser the bring on the barrier lightweight comfort boosting moisturizer and the fix my zit acne gel treatment i have so many spot treatments right now and again i want to pass them before they expire like this one oh no i have to throw it away it expired in november of 2023 that's such a bummer i got this as an ulta free gift but ah. Oh, that is such a bummer because it's a full size. I never used it. That's terrible. Thank God this was free. But Kinship Pimple Potion. Retinol and salicylic acid acne treatment. I might play with this and just see what the texture is like. So I'll have to set that aside to not give it away because it could expire. Then I'm going to pass on this Replenix Benzoyl Peroxide 5% Acne Wash. Again, I just have other cleansers that... I like a little bit more. And then lastly, I finally am getting rid of some self tanning products. I've told you guys before that I'm going to get around to tanning. I'm going to get around tanning. Well, I kept a couple of things, but I don't think I need these. I'm going to give them to my friend Lauren 
the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist and these two Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in Dark. So those are the 15 products that are going to be leaving my collection. So now for the numbers. For hair care products I used up zero foil samples. I used up 17 deluxe size samples and five full size products and two hair dye kits. So that's a total of 24 hair products. For skincare, I used eight foil samples, 22 deluxe size samples, and 31 full size products, making a total of 61 skincare products. For body products, I used up two foil samples, nine deluxe size samples, and 14 full size products. I also finished three nail polish removers, four deodorants, and six hand sanitizers. So I did count those in this total here of 38 body products. So for hair, skin, and body all together, that would be a total of 10 foil samples, 48 deluxe size samples, and 50 full size products plus those 13 polish remover deodorant sanitizer make 63 full size products for a total of 121 non-makeup beauty products used up, which feels amazing. I'm really happy with that, especially considering how many full size things I was able to get through this year. And crazy to see this number, I decluttered 73 products. Now, a lot of these were things that I received in PR and I get some duplicates in PR or things that I'm not interested in that I immediately pass away. That's not counted here. And this number is counted things that I intended on keeping or that I tried and decided I did not need, was not for me. 73 products. That is so many. All right. So now let's get into the things that I would purchase in the full size. And I might want to annotate on the screen, even though editing me is not going to like this, how many years I've mentioned these products. Because a lot of these things are repeat favorites. Some of them are new, but a lot of repeats here. And that's why I'm decluttering so many things from my collection is because while I like trying new things, I also want to spend the time using the things that I have that I already know that I love. So starting with my cleansing balm. So of course my Clinique Take the Day Off is my all-time favorite, but you guys know this year I was on a journey to test out tons of different affordable options. That comparison review will be coming in January. So I'm not going to give too much away, but I will tell you which ones that I've used up that I would repurchase. There are some that I've tried that I've liked that I've not finished yet. That's not mentioned here. So of course I would buy the one from Clinique, but then I also really love the cleansing balm from e.l.f., which has a blueberry scent, the Naturium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm, and the one from Good Molecules. So I would buy all four of those again happily. For cleanser, the only one that I used up this year that I fell in love with be Philosophy Purity Cleanser. That one is just my favorite and I've been lucky that my friends Amanda and Jean don't care for it so they continue to send them my way. And those little four ounce bottles just last me forever. I just don't need a ton of cleanser and I don't want to be wasteful. Then for scrubs, I have two that I fell in love with. My all time favorite Clinique City Block scrub, which they recently changed the, well, I guess a year ago, changed the packaging and the name. Now it's all about clean. I have one, I haven't used it yet. I'm really hoping that it's exactly the same because this is the best scrub ever. It has a nice sandy consistency. I've never used it as a mask. And then also something for the brand new Reflection. Their scrub was amazing. I got this in some sort of subscription box and I, have been able to sort of find this online but I can't even find like a social media page for this company and I'm sure it's really expensive so I probably won't end up getting it but it lasted me a long time and it was really really good so absolutely love that and would definitely buy it if I could get it at a good price. Then for toner so many things that I love so I'll have a full name on the screen for this the Paula's Choice toner from the clear line for acne my friend Jean gave this to me it was so good. The Peach and Lily good acids pore toner. I've been through several of those and I think it's really fantastic. And the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner is really good. And the Skin Proud Detox Toner, it's Daily AHA, really fantastic. All four of those would definitely purchase. Again, I know that 
you know, there's not that much difference between a lot of toners, but I think all of those worked really well for my oily skin. Then for serums, I used up some minis of the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Serum and the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Serum. I cannot pass on minis whenever I get them. It's something that I literally always have on my list. I've not purchased them. I feel like I would need to get more than half off. And for me with serums, it's something where I go off the consistency and the smell. So it's more of a preventative step for me overall, so I have a hard time spending that much money. But I do really like those, and my rich bitch self would definitely buy them. Next being the Merit Great Skin Serum. I'm using another one right now. This is really fantastic. It's a really interesting consistency. It feels like a essence, essentially. And I do think this is super nice and hydrating, something I really like using for winter time. Then I did use up the Drunk Elephant TLC Serum, which I thought was a really great product that I would love to use again for nighttime. Then from Skin Proud, they have their Bright Boost Vitamin C Serum, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. It was not sticky. It didn't have an overly citrus scent, so it sounds really perfect. And of course, it's super affordable. You can buy Skin Proud at Walmart and some CVS's. Then for moisturizers, of course, my Holy Grail Belief Aqua Balm for daytime, Moisture Balm for nighttime. I also really love the Replenix Age Restore Brightening Moisturizer. This one is amazing for my oily skin in the winter, in the morning, because Aqua Balm, I need a little bit more than that, but Moisture Balm is too much for winter day. The Replenix is just perfect but they're a little bit pricey and then for the daytime i also love the dr zenovia aloe vera blemish soothing moisturizer amaze i'm so glad i have some more full sizes of that because i don't send me pr anymore unfortunately and then a little mini that i got and really loved would be the copari moisture whipped ceramide cream that is something that i really liked i believe for nighttime and it's something that i would definitely purchase if it was in Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, which I, or, you know, their skincare event, which I think it was previously. So that makes me feel hopeful that it would be again. Four eye creams, I actually had four that I really loved, which is amazing. First being the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I thought this gave a perfect amount of moisture, really good for under my makeup. And this is one of the Inky List products that I do really love. I've tried some other things that were just okay or that I didn't really like, but that one's really good. Then of course, my Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, my holy grail i've been through so many and i was so sad they did not do a holiday set this year of the moisture balm or the moisturizing eye balm the drunk elephant c tango eye cream is amazing i've been through several samples in the past and then i was lucky enough to get a full size npr absolutely love this and then also the skin proud eye cream i thought was so great again all of these are nice and hydrating without making my under eyes too greasy or too hydrated for under makeup. They all are perfect day, night, whenever, and they do not give me milia, which a lot of other products in the past have. And then I have one SPF, my Everyday Humans Resting Beach Face Sunscreen Serum is incredible. I got my sister on that and now she's using SPF every day. I have a few other SPFs that I wanna play around with first, but this is something that I definitely see myself going back to. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get a backup when it was 25% off at Target for Black Friday, but I knew I just didn't need it, but it doesn't go on sale that often, but it's still like super affordable. It's like 20 bucks. Hello everyone. I am popping back in because after I had filmed the first part of this video and I was putting everything away, I finished 10 minutes before my session. I thought, perfect timing. Well, then I realized I totally forgot to tell you what hair care and body care products I liked enough to repurchase. So we are back to do that today. First, we have the Derma E Scalp Relief Shampoo and Conditioner. This is fantastic. So I have really oily roots, really dry ends, and this did a great job of leaving my hair feeling very clean, smooth, hydrated without being you know, too hydrating and had a bit of a minty tingle, which I really loved. So this is just a fantastic line for me right now, or I just use up the volumizing one, I believe the one that's in the blue packaging. Some ingredient in there did not work well with me, but this one is amazing. 
Derma E you can buy at lots of different places. One of them being at Ulta and oftentimes Derma E is like buy one get one 40% off or something and you can definitely use the drugstore coupons on it. So I will repurchase those when I need some shampoo and conditioner but that probably won't be until either the end of this year or like sometime next year. So I won't need to for a while. This is a repeat fave for sure. The Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock. This is something I had gotten as an Ulta freebie years ago and I fell in love. Luckily for me, this is often included in the Ulta hair event that happens twice a year. It usually comes up at least one of the two times. And I use this as a deep conditioner. It says Luster Lock. Deep conditioner is how I use it. It has an amazing scent. It is super hydrating. I absolutely love it. It feels like a treat for my hair. Next, we have the Briogeo Scalp Revival Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I know that this has been featured at least one other time. This is amazing. I've tried other scalp scrubs before that either like the texture is not easy to work into my roots or I can't wash it out of my roots or it leaves my hair feeling like super stripped and gross. This is just perfect. So I tend to use this on days where I went an extra day without washing my hair. Usually I wash my hair every other day or I will use this on times where I use dry shampoo two days in a row and this is just absolutely perfect. I love this. I do usually put at least a little bit of conditioner on my roots on days when I use this and I feel like my hair balances out perfectly. So I absolutely love this. Right now I think I have three two ounce squeeze bottles which is amazing. That should last me all year because the full size comes in a tub which we don't need. We don't need that. Hair products in a tub okay because we can just put things in a squeezy tube. This is something that I've mentioned a couple years. This is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo, my number one holy grail dry shampoo. It has a pretty strong scent that I had to get used to, but now I love it. Your hair is gonna smell good. This does a great job of soaking up oil. It doesn't leave my hair feeling like a gross texture. It also gives a bit of volume, which is great because I feel like my hair, especially on days when I straighten it, which maybe I should use this more on days when I straighten it. I feel like my hair can be very like flat. This is an amazing product and I am pretty stocked up right now, but this was included in the fall hair event with Ulta as a surprise steal. And I was so proud of myself. I held back on buying it because I have several right now, but it's incredible and I'll cross my fingers it goes on sale again in 2024. Next I have a couple different leave-ins that I really enjoy. First one being the Moroccan oil leave-in. I think that this does a nice job of leaving my hair feeling soft. It helps with detangling and I really love this scent but this is probably the one I would purchase last out of the others. The one that ranks in the middle for me would be the it's a 10 miracle leave-in treatment the original one and then I also tried the light version which is great I feel like if you're someone that feels like your hair gets weighed down by product this would be a great option I love the scent on both of these I've tried the keratin one the blonde one the silk one I don't like those scent wise but these two I think are amazing and I don't notice a huge difference between the two on my hair. I already have a full size of the original because again, this is often included in the Ulta hair event or during the Black Friday Cyber Monday deals. So I already have one and I think it's a fantastic product. And then my number one would be the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil Primer. I think it does just as good of a job at detangling, leaving my hair feeling extra conditioned and softened, but I like the scent on this one a little bit better. So I'm going to be crossing my fingers that sometime in 2024, either at Sephora or Ulta, this will go 40 or 50% off and then I will buy one. I've done a great job of really working through a lot of the leave-in products that I have. And right now I have a couple of these Bumble and Bumble ones that I'm going to be saving for travel. I'm going to make myself save them because I've worked on my collection that much. I can't wait for you guys to see my inventory. Then I finished a little mini of the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protected Mist. This is a aerosol mist, which I really like because a lot of other heat protectants are a bit more liquidy and I feel like should be used on wet hair when for me I don't blow dry my hair I tend to wash it at night let it air dry and then I straighten my hair on completely dry hair so I 
have been looking for a heat protectant that I felt would work well. This is just a mist, like a hairspray type of mist. And I think it works really well. I mean, I obviously don't know if it's really helping prevent damage to my hair. I can't tell. I don't straighten my hair that often, but often enough that I do really want to use the heat protectant. And I think this one has a really nice smell and is, you know, exactly what I need because I'm using heat on dry hair. So I would recommend it. And again, I was lucky that in 2023, this was included in one of the Ulta hair bins. So I got it half off. Oh, so blessed. And the last product I have would be my favorite hair dye, the Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Cream. I've tried several different colors within this line. I've been using this hair dye line for years. It's wonderful because it's like a conditioner consistency. It's not runny. So it's super easy to work into the hair. I feel like the color lasts a really long time on me. Again, I am using colors that are pretty similar to my natural hair color. So there's something that sort of like grows out. It might fade a little bit, but I don't really feel like it fades. It just grows out on me. And I think it's absolutely wonderful. I love the conditioner kit that I love the little conditioner that comes with it. I wish they would sell that on its own because it's incredibly conditioning and has an incredible scent. So those are the hair care products I would definitely repurchase. I realize I'm talking so much with my hands and I guess that's what I do when I'm not holding a product. So my apologies. But then we have got a body care products. I usually don't have that many. And this is still not a ton, but I really did try to focus on incorporating body care products a lot more in 2023 so I have a lot more faves. So first would be the Olay body wash. I got a freebie probably from Pinch Me or something, a deluxe side of this. It smells so good, it lathers nicely, my skin feels nice and soft afterwards so definitely something that I would either love having for travel or just to have. I think I don't, you know, need Bath and Body Works. This smells so good. Then we had the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. I have gotten several different scents now, some that were gifted to me, some that I purchased, so I need to really work through them. But the one that I used up was Coconut Lime. This is something I would not normally think that I would like, but those two scents together are wonderful and that's a great summer scent for me. So I already have another full size of this and other scents. I really wanna make sure I focus on my Cherry Hut scrubs next year. This is an amazing body scrub. It has the perfect consistency to be exfoliating without being too harsh. And it just is literally the best. And you don't need to spend all this money on other body scrubs. This is so good. Next is something from the brand Maylee's, which you can buy at Ulta. This was the breast exfoliating stick. Again, having kids, I've gotten very sweaty in the chest area. I can get little like white heads. And this just does a great job of exfoliating. It's super convenient being in a stick form. It is something that I had gotten in PR as well as the Topicals Slather Exfoliating Body Serum. I have other body serum type of things that I've been trying. This one is the best. I was using this on my legs where I have some KP and I really do feel like this made my legs feel nice and smooth in a like smoother exfoliated way, not smooth in just a hydrated way. This is so good. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. If it goes on sale at Sephora, I have seen it go on sale before. So I need to you know, really watch out for it because it is a really fantastic products. I would totally recommend it. I would love to hear your recommendations if you tried anything else from Topicals. This is the only thing I tried from them. And then I had just one lotion favorite, the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I like the original and the candy cane scent. I feel like this is super hydrating. You will have a little bit left in the skin, but not in a heavy or greasy way. It mostly sinks in, but then you just have like a little hydration layer. I think this is wonderful. It comes in so many different sizes. I like to keep the little minis to use for hand lotion. And then the candy cane one, the holiday scented ones, I think are just two ounce sizes, which is absolutely perfect for me because again, I'm using it on my hands, not on my body. So I have backups of both of those, but I would definitely buy them again. Luckily, Katie Kane, I think has been like 2023, I think was the third year they had it. So hopefully it will continue because it's definitely a very seasonal specific scent for me. And then number six would be this Honey Pot Panty Spray. I think this is really great. I would definitely recommend this unless you're someone that just feels like this is not a type of product that you should use, but I think it's like totally fine. 
I think it's fine. I don't know. I really enjoy this and it's something that I definitely want to keep repurchasing and it does just make me feel better. So why not? So guys, now that is my official end for my rolling non makeup project pan for 2023. I hope you enjoyed this wrap up and all the things I included. I really like including all of these things but let me know if there's something that you feel is boring and I should cut out but I would love to know out of all of the non makeup beauty products this year which things did you absolutely love and plan on repurchasing and which things did you really not like whatsoever. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.